T tell us about your uh, rehabilitate, re <laughs> rehabilitation process. Uh, no, uh, no, I feel good, man. Uh, it's been a long summer. Uh, this is something new for me, getting ready after an Achilles injury, but I feel great. A lot of patience. Uh, the staff here, the Mavericks, I stayed here the whole summer just for that, and I had a baby boy, so we stayed here in the summer. And it's a lot of rehab, a lot of patience, but I feel good. I'm ready to go, and I'm just taking one day at a time. You're, you're one of many people in the last couple of years that had has had that type of injury. What is Kevin having to uphill battle since you just went through that, Kevin Durant? The, um. Yeah, he's, he'll be fine. You know, he's going to have a good group of work around him. Uh, he works hard, I know that. So he's got to be patient. You got to take it one day at a time. Uh, you got to eat good. You got to take care of your health better than, than you've done it before. And just be patient. I think the most I be patient, stay positive. And with this injury, the good thing it has is you feel better every week. You see how you keep improving, so that's going to help. And then, um, what are your thoughts about? Um, I know Carmelo and um, uh, Jamal Crawford are still unsigned. What are your thoughts yeah. about what those guys could give to a team moving forward? Yeah. Well, yeah. just just you know, this experience. You know, guys that could score the ball. They've done it in the best levels. So yeah, you just you know, uh, hopefully they get signed. Uh, we'll see uh, that those things are, are tricky, you know, mm -hmm. that it's a business. Uh, but yeah, those guys say, uh, hey, they've been scoring the ball since they were kids. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. And how how, how uh, forward are you? How much are you looking forward to, to playing with Chris Stapps and just getting him familiarized with all the Yeah, no, playing with KP is going to be fun, man. Uh, it's, a, it's a big guy that uh, he's, he can't wait to get on the floor. He's going to create all the attention for himself. So that's going to make guys like me our job a little bit easier. So it's going to be a lot of fun having him, having him back there on defense too, you know, blocking shots, getting rebounds, and uh, having a big, a big guy that can roll, dunk, and shoot threes, and, and dribble the ball. It's going to be fun. And then Luca in year two, obviously, you know, everyone knows about him now. There's yeah. no more surprises. Uh, what, what do you think he needs to do to just take the next step? Well, I think he knows. Luca's a smart guy. Uh, he, needs, he needs to get, get to the next level. I think he worked on, it, on his body, just get a little bit more more in shape so he could last a little bit longer in the, during the games. Uh, but yeah, just keep improving on, on what he does, just do it even better and, and he'll be fine. Last one for you, um, I, with, with Dirk leaving, you are now, you know, I believe the oldest guy. Yeah. <laughs> you're the veteran, you're the veteran yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what does that feel like and as well, uh, um, how much longer as well do you want to play? Well, I, f I, f I, feel, I feel like a kid. I still love this game. I'm still having the time of my life, it's fun. Uh, but yeah, definitely I'm the oldest, the more experience, I got to talk more, I got to help the young guys a little bit more. Uh, without Dirk, it's definitely going to feel weird. And yeah, I just want to, I want to keep playing, just, you know, I, I still do, I can still help the team, I still feel good. So a couple more years and we'll see how it goes. Yep, thank you.